This is uh, Conestoga Hut number three, which we built for a guy named Philip, who was before, before, hold, hold on, I'm videotaping. Um, before he was just living in this car here. And so now he has his own little micro home and he's inside uh, organizing and, and creating his space. Hi, Philip. Hey, Eric, how's it going? It's going good. Oh, so, come on in, take a look at what we've done. So, um, this is a twin size bed. It's on a Hollywood frame, box spring mattress. Um, got a dresser right here. So, wow, you, could, you probably couldn't fit all this in your car, huh? No, not at all. And I gotta tell you, the most exciting thing is the fact that I can stand up in order to get dressed. That's the most <laughs> the exciting thing. The simple pleasures. <laughs> yes. So we had a benevolent benefactor give us this little red table here. Not Got nice. my shoes on it. And uh, still kind of in the process of getting my coats and stuff hung up. Uh, got like a little food pantry area. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, small heater. Not that it really needs it. Uh-huh. Um, so uh, yeah. la last night was your first night in the hut, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. How was it? Uh, it was great. I just, I laid here and, you know, I'm used to having something about this far above my head. And <laughs> this seemed huge sitting way up here. I was comfortable. I was warm. And it was just amazing. I mean, it is such a relief to be able to, to just have some place to call my own that doesn't have wheels on it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so you feel more settled now. I actually feel like I can move into some place. I have a home, finally. It's not just a temporary transition. It's not just some place that I'm crashing or staying at somebody else's place. This is mine. Wow. And I, I couldn't be happier. Wow, that's that's great. I'm glad that we were able to, to help you out with those feelings because we know we know how it is always being in transitions so like you can never get settled. Yeah. Great.